Feel something missing from your portfolio analysis? Here's how the Total Return Index can help. The Total Return Index gives investors information on capital gains and reinvested cash distributions, including dividends and interest, for a more complete performance measure. Mandated by regulators in 2018, all mutual fund schemes now report their performance using TRI. The major difference between price return and total return indices is the inclusion of dividends and cash payouts in the latter. In contrast to price indices, total return indices may show higher returns as they incorporate cash distributions. For instance, in the last four decades, the Sensex delivered a CAGR of 15.5% reflecting the price change without dividend received. The total return index factors the dividend yield of 1.4% in this period, taking the average annual total return to 16.9%. Example of a total return index. Nifty 50 total return index. The Nifty 50 net total return measures the performance of the Nifty 50 index, including cash dividends and gains from bonus issues that are reinvested in the index. In a nutshell, here's how TRI is useful. Accurate performance measurement. Realistic comparison with other investments. Enhanced transparency and accountability. Informed decision aiding selection of investment options. Illustrates the compounding effect to help estimate growth potential. So next time use the TRI, especially if you're a long-term investor, for a complete view of the performance of your portfolio and when selecting other investment options. For more such insightful information, follow JM Financial Services. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.